The Intelligent Robotics Group is developing new robotics technology to improve the way that humans can explore the solar system. A key part of that is looking at how humans and robots can work together as teams so that humans can support robots and that robots can support humans. We want to interact with autonomous systems. We want to be able to create systems that we can trust in all kinds of circumstances. Several years ago, when we started working with these remotely operated robots, we needed a piece of software that would allow us to look at the terrain, to look at the sensor data coming from the robots and understand its situation. And that led to the creation of Verve. Verve is a 3D robot user interface. It allows us to see the 3D world that the robots are operating in. It's been used with our K-10 planetary rovers, our K-Rex planetary rover, with Spheres on the space station, and with our new robot, the Astro B, which will be on the space station in 2017. In 2013, we carried out a series of tests with astronauts on the International Space Station. And in those tests, we had astronauts who were flying 200 miles above the Earth remotely operate a robot, the K-10 planetary rover, here in California. You cannot joystick a robot at the distance we're dealing with because of time delay. You need a robot that's very safe, that can operate on its own, can complete tasks on its own. On the other hand, you still want the human in the loop because the human brings a lot of experience and very powerful cognitive ability that can deal with issues that the autonomy's not quite ready to handle. That's why NASA feels it's a very potent combination to use both the human capability and the robotic capability together. After our 2013 tests involving an astronaut on the space station remotely operating a robot here on Earth, we realized that the software could be applied to lots of different uses. One of those uses happened to be supporting the operation of an autonomous vehicle. We were very excited when Nissan was interested in applying this to self-driving cars. One of the key goals of NASA is to transfer technology out to the commercial sector for broader use. When we engage in these type of partnerships, we have a real opportunity to gain knowledge from them as well. Our collaboration with Nissan North America and with other self-driving car companies is an example of that. One of the things we gain is to learn how our autonomy is used and how humans interact with that. The need for autonomy and greater autonomy is always going to be there for NASA missions in the future. But seeing it applied in a real-world example of self-driving cars, for example, we will get that knowledge and benefit as well. I love robots. I help build and test them. In the future, I see robots everywhere. We have the potential of this technology reaching thousands or millions of people, and that's really exciting.